What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. Today we are going to go over this problem called two nights. So what is this problem? Your task is to count for k equal to 1 up to n the number of ways two knights can be placed on a k by k board such that they do not attack each other. So what does that mean? Well, um, before you even go uh, start doing this problem, you have to know how knights move. So how knights move is that they could only move in L shape. So let's say I have a knight in the center of this board, right? A knight can only move in an L shape. So it means that I could only move like up, uh, basically up two or to the left one or up two to the right one. So an L shape I could move is like here and then here, right? So then I can move to this spot or I can move up two to the right one. So up here, so I can move to this spot. And I could do the same to the bottom, so L shape, right, only L shape, so uh, down two to the right one, up here, like, see, this way, down two to the left one, up, and this way. And, uh, yeah, and I also can move uh, up one and to the left uh, two, right, so I can move another L shape, you just can move up one to the left two, so right here, right, up one to the right two, up here, and then, uh, down one to the right two, right here. Um, down one to the left two, right here. Okay? So that's basically the, the different ways I could put it. And if I were to, like, put a star on each of these ways, um, it'll be here, 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 and then it'll be here, and it'll be here. Okay? Because this is how a knight moves. Um, knights move only in L shapes, right? They only can move L shapes. Okay, so now our task is that uh, given a K by K board, we need to count the number of ways two knights can be placed on this board such that they do not attack each other. Okay, all right, so before we even begin, um, let's just assume that these two knights are just pawns, right? So what I mean is like they could only move straight, okay? And the reason why is because um, if they're just like regular pieces, right? Um, so let's say they're just like regular pieces, any pieces, right? So um, let's think about this. So let's say I have this board here, and it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So in our case, the size of the board would be k equal to 5, right? Because uh, right in the problem statement, they said k by k board. So in this case, um, actually, our, it would be n equal to 5. Yeah, my bad. The board would be n, right? The board would be n. So in this case, it would be n is equal to 5. Yeah, so... The board is equal to five, okay? And um, let's say we just want to place any piece, any piece into this board, okay? Well, how many different ways can I place place it, right? So let's say I just want to do one piece, okay? So I put a piece here, right? I could put a piece here. Well, okay, that's pretty good. So this is one place I could put it. But how many different ways can I put it, right? So I could put a piece here, but I also could put a piece here, right? I could put a piece here, or, or I could put a piece here, right? And I Or I could put another piece here. Right, these are just random pieces, right? And then I, I could put another piece here, and another piece here, this piece here, this piece here, this piece here. Any of these number of pieces, I could put them, right? If I just put one piece here. So, um, what is the total number of ways if I just want to put a piece? Um, it's simple, right? Um, it'll just be the the length times width of the board, right? Because that's that'll be the total number of ways I could put one piece, right? Because if I just do one, two, three, four, five, six, if I just count them all up. It'll just be, I don't know, 25. So it'll just be n squared, right? So if, if I just want to put one piece, right? If I just want to put one piece, if I just want to put one piece, it would be n squared. So it would just be n squared, okay? Because I just want to put one piece into this board, okay? But now let's say I want to put two pieces, right? So if so, this one is not one piece. This is one piece, one piece. Assuming this is not a knight, it's just like a regular chess piece, right? It'll be n squared because I have like n, like and n ways to do it here and then n ways to do it here right so it would be n times n which would be n squared so this is one piece one piece would be n squared but now let's assume i want to do two pieces okay well if i put if i place one piece here right um how many different ways can i put the second piece well if i want to place a second piece and i could switch to a color red well i could put it here Right, I could put it here. Right, I hope I hope you guys can see this. Maybe maybe I'll put it like uh, orange here. Uh, maybe gray. I'll see something that's pretty hard to see. Um, yeah, okay, fine. I'll put green. Green. Right. 
So if I put one piece here for the first piece, how many different ways can I put it? Well, I could put one here, right? Or I could put another one here, right? I could put it either this one or this one, right? Or the second piece, I could put it here. Or I could put another here. Or I could put another here, right? And then just count one, this 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 one, right? So how many different ways did I put it, right? Well, it's simple. I only have... If I place the first piece here, then I will, uh, I had 24 ways to put the second piece, right? I had 24 ways to put the second piece. So if I put, place the first one here, I had 24 ways to put the second piece. So in this case, it would be, if I place the first piece here, I would have uh, 24 pieces to put the second piece. So it would just be n squared minus one, right? If I place the first piece here. But remember, we don't have, it's not necessary that we have to, place the first piece here, right? You could, you could place a piece here I also, or you could place it here, or you could place it here, or you could place it here, and so on and so on and so forth, right? So if you want to count the number of ways you could put the first piece, right? There's n squared to put the first piece, right? There's n squared to put the first piece, right? So if I put, place the first here, and then there's that man, there's that many ways to put it right and then there's n square minus one to put the second piece right because if i had um if i place the first piece here the second piece there's one column less to put the second piece right so that's why i have to do the total number of squares which is n square and subtract by the first one because then i'll be that'll be the number of ways to put it right but um Think about it. If I just do n square times n square minus one, um, uh, I'm actually double counting, right? I'm actually double counting because what ha what's happened is like if I place the first piece here. Imagine if I place the first piece, uh, so n square minus one here. Imagine I place the first piece here, and the second piece here, right? And then I just go on so so on so forth, right? So on and so forth until I get to the end, right? So and then, if, and then imagine if I put the second piece here. So let's say I put the second piece here. So let's say I put the second piece here. I mean, the first piece here now. Well, I just double counted this one, right? I double counted this one, right? Like, like if I had placed the first piece here, and then I placed the number of ways to put, put the second piece would be here, 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 here. Here, 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 so on and so forth, right? And then, so on and so forth, keep going, right? And then, if I place this, the, now what if I place the first piece here now? Well, how many different ways could you place the the second piece? It'll be here, 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 like, uh, my bad, I'll put, I'll put this one here, right? So, here. It would be here, 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 here. I'll put it in purple so you guys see this one. Here, 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 here. So we basically just double counted this one, the first two ways to do it, right? We double counted it because if I place the first piece here and then that will be n n square minus one ways to put the second piece. And then if, uh, and then what if I place the first piece here, then it would be n square minus one to put the second piece also, but I just double counted this first one. So um, out of all the ways to do the first piece, right? If I want to put all of the ways to put the first piece, the equation would be the equation to do this, which uh, I'm gonna have to come back here. Let me just redo everything. Uh, the equation, what it would be, would be n square times n square minus one. So it would be n square. So our equation for putting two pieces, assuming they, they're just regular pawns, it would be n square times n square minus one divided by two. Okay. So this would be the equation, right? Just putting two pieces because otherwise I would have had, um, double counted twice, right? You saw how we double counted the first way to do it this way. And we could have kept double counting. So that's why um, 
the answer would be n squared times n squared minus one over two. So this is like just placing two random pieces, right? These are just two uh, two random pieces. So um, you got to think of another way you could think about it is like there's a total of n square pieces on this board, right? And the total number of way to choose two pieces in it would be n square c two, right? This is like a second way to think about it. It would be n square c two, which would also would just get you n times n square times n square minus one divided by two. Okay, that's another way to think about it. But yeah, I, I just wanted to show you like visually what it meant, why it's n squared times n squared minus one over two. Okay, so this is the first part of the uh, placing two random pieces on a board. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to subtract by the ways that uh, the two knights can attack each other. Because this is the total number of ways it would take placing two pieces on the board, just two random pieces on the board. Now we just have to subtract um, the different ways where uh, a knight two knights can attack each other because that'll, that'll be the that'll be your answer essentially okay so now that we have the total number of ways uh two knights could be placed on a board uh now all we have to do is subtract by the number of ways two knights do attack each other so two knights do attack each other so uh when does two knights attack each other um so if we think about it let's say we have a knight here right so a knight can attack basically diagonal right so like uh in not diagonal l shape in l shape so it could be up here and then up one to the right here up one to the uh up right down one here up here down one here and then so on and so forth right it would be the diagonals right uh the l shapes going one and then to the right two or down one to the left two right so um which places can i not put the knight well, simple. If I have the knight placed here, right, I cannot put the knight here, and I cannot put the knight here, and I cannot put the knight here, right? So what, what do we see here? What do we see in this picture? Well, if you if you were to cut the, the board around the locations where you cannot place it, you would see a pattern, right? If I had a knight here, and then, and then I can't place it here, right? Um... But here, if I have a knight here, right, I also cannot place it here, and I also cannot place it here, right? Um, so let's just like let's just like color in the areas where we cannot place it. So here, this is I cannot place it here, right? But I'm gonna just shade in those the, the grid from the whole grid on the parts where I cannot place it. So here, I can't place it here. So I'm just let's just shade in this part, okay? I'm just gonna shade in here this part, all the surrounding areas, okay? So I can't place it here, right? I'll shade it. Well, I also cannot place it here, so I'm just going to shade in this part. Let's do a different color. Let's do it uh, orange. So let's just shade uh, maybe blue, 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 blue is better. So I'll just shade in this part. I can't place it here, right? I can't place it here, so I'm going to shade in this part also. Um, but I also can't place it here, right? Because if I have a knight here, I can't place a knight here. It'll attack this one. So I'll shade in this part also. So I'll shade in this part. So what do you see here after the after shading in? Uh, it's simple. Essentially, is is that the in rectangles of two by three or three by two, the two if you place a knight in those rectangles, they're gonna attack each other, right? So if you could if if I have a knight here, and then if I have a another knight here the, these two knights are going to attack each other because there's a rectangle of two by three here right there's a rectangle two by three of this part this part is a rectangle here it's two by three and these two are going to attack each other also if i have a knight here right same here this the, uh, this knight attacking this knight if i place a knight here and a knight here these two knights are going to attack each other because this is also in another rectangle of two by three right two by three here so this is also another rectangle of two by three right so that's why these two are also going to attack each other but it's not just two by three it's also three by two like if i have a rectangle of three by two here so in this case of uh there's a knight here right there's a knight here and uh it, i can't place a knight here because there's a three by two here there's a rectangle three by two so there's one two three three places here and then a uh, another one here to the right here. It's a three by two here. So th it's this rectangle. Hope you guys could see this rectangle. 
right? So essentially is, is that we just have to count how many um, two by three rectangles are in the grid and how many three by two rectangles are in the grid. And then we just subtract that fr from the total number of uh, pieces of two pieces you can place in the grid. And then that'll just be your answer. Okay. So yeah. So the first part, how many two by threes are in a grid? Okay. So how many two by threes are in a grid? So let me just completely uh, get rid of this again. And then we could start over. Let's count on how many two by threes are in a grid. And then we're going to um, be on our way. And then we add up how many three by two rectangles are in a grid and so on and so forth. Okay. So how many two by threes are in this grid? So here I have a grid of uh, n is equal to five, right? So it's a five by five grid. So how many two by three rectangles? Well, there's a two by three rectangle here, right? This this one, this this one, right? So uh, there's one here, this one, and then there's also one here, right? If I could count this one, so that's two, and there's another one here, right? That's three, and I also could count, keep counting. There's one here, four, and I could count another one here, five, uh, six. Count another one here, right? And then seven, count one here. Eight, count one here. Nine, count one here. Ten, count one here. Eleven, count one here. And then twelve, count one here. Okay. So um, what we notice here is that um, we just count. Uh, if I want to write a math equation rega regarding how many uh, different rectangles there are, um, we just have to count like how many per row and then multiply by how many per column. Okay. So here we have, uh, we had one here, two, three, we had three here. So there was three rectangles per this row. So there's three rectangles. Uh, if I just count like this three, right? Two, there's one, two, three, right? So there's three here. Um, so as per each row, there's about three rectangles and then, um, how many per column? So there's a, Let's see how many columns are there. So one, two, three. Let's see. And then one. So there's one, two, three, four. Okay. So there's four. Four of these giant rectangles per column. So I like one, two, three, and then four. Okay. So it would be the answer would be three times four. So um yeah, so the answer would be three times four. So um based on are n equal to five and three by times four, um, we could write a math equation generalizing when for all n. So in this case, it would just be, um, what do you see a pattern between this five and this three, right? Um, so three is actually just five minus two, right? So three is five minus two. And then um, four is just five minus one. So here it would be five minus two times uh, was four is five minus one. So five minus one, right? So in our N is equal to five, right? Our N is equal to five. So if we're generalizing this, it would just be N minus two times N minus one, right? Right. It would be N minus two times N minus one. So that'll be the math equation for how many rectangles on uh, two by three rectangles for an N by N grid. So yeah, uh, so this equation would be n minus two times n minus one. So here would be n minus two times n minus one. So this would be the math equation for number of two by three rectangles in a grid. Okay. So now we have to think about the number of, uh, number of three by two rectangles, right? We have to add this, this one add to the number of three by two rectangles. And then we just subtract it from our total of of uh, total number of two pieces we could place on our board and that'll be our answer. Okay. So here now, now that we have this, we're going to find how many three by two rectangles are on a board. So let's count that. Okay. So I'm just going to erase this whole thing. And uh, yeah. So before, before we lose everything. Um, so here, remember our total was our total of was uh n square times n minus one, uh, n square minus one over two, right? This is our total. And then we have to subtract the number of, uh, 
number of two by three rectangles and then also the number of three by two rectangles, right? So we're gonna subtract and our math equation was n minus two times n minus one, right? N minus two times n minus one. So this is a two by three rectangles. This is a number of two by three rectangles, okay? So now let's count the uh, number of three by two rectangles now, okay? So I'm gonna erase this and I'll paste this here. So, so how do you count the number of three by two rectangles? Um, simple, same thing, go over by column. Remember this is n equal to five, five by five, right? Simple, so we'll go row by column, and then just count how many per row, and then generalize it for how many per column, okay? So here we have three by two, three, three by two. So this is, we have one here, another here, two, another here, three, another here, four, okay? So this is like four in one row. And let's see how many columns we have. So we have one, uh, one here, uh, let's see. So we have one year, two, and then three. Okay. So there's one, two, and then three. So that's, there's four, four of them in one row. And then there's three per column, right? Three per column. So the answer would be four times three. So if we want to generalize it, remember our N is equal to five. We're going to need to generalize these two based on n equal to five. So uh, what is four representing in terms of five? It's five minus one. And what is uh, three represent in terms of five? It's uh, five minus two. So this would be our answer right, four is equal to five minus one. So four is equal to five minus one and three is equal to five minus two. So then now let's replace our five with n. So it's just gonna be n minus one times n minus two, okay? Easy. So now in the end, uh, in the end, we're just going to have the total equation would just be uh, n squared times n mi squared minus one over two, right? Minus um, here it will be n n minus one uh, n minus two times n minus one plus n minus one times n minus two. Okay. I actually forgot to mention one thing is that um, in each rectangle, there's two ways to place a knight. So if I had a knight here, I could place uh, a knight here, attack a knight here, right? So these are the two ways you could place a knight to attack each other. So I could put here and attacking here, right? Or I could put a knight uh, here, attacking a knight here, right? This one and this one or this one and this one, right? So that's why there's two ways to attack um, a knife for each square. So our answer would actually be two times this plus two times this, right? Um, be, these are both subtracted. So it would be n squared times n squared minus one over two minus uh, two times n minus two times n minus one plus two times n minus one times n minus two. So if we were to simplify this equation on the right, two times n minus two times n minus one plus two times uh, n minus one times n minus two. And then if you were just, re because these are the same coefficients, if you add them up, it's just equal to four times n minus one times n minus two, right? Because they're the, the exact same coefficients. So yeah, our answer would be n squared times n squared minus one over two minus four times n minus one times n minus two. So if we were to rewrite this whole thing, if we rewrite this whole thing, it would be n squared times n squared minus one over two minus four times n minus one times n minus two. Okay, so yeah, this would be the answer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm gonna code it up in, actually I'll just show you guys the code right now because it's not that hard. So here we have submissions. Um, yeah, so here, uh, basically I just read in N here and I call solved and then uh, I'm gonna loop through from K equal to one up to N because they wanted it for all values from K to one to N, right? That's what they wanted in the problem statement. So, and then I just plug into the formula. I just do K times K 
times k times k minus one over two. So this is k squared times k squared minus one over two. And then I just minus four times k minus one times k minus two. And then I do that for each of them for all the values for of k from one to n. Because the problem statement for some reason they wanted to do from k equal to one to n, right? K equal to one n on one by uh, k by k board. Okay. So yeah, so you had to loop from one to n and then given n you had to plug in the equation for each of the values for k. So yeah, I could show you guys the code again. So yeah, I just plug it at k squared times k squared minus one over two minus four times k minus one times k minus two and loop from k one. Loop from k one up to n, including n. And yeah, and the main is c and n and I just call solved. So yeah, it's that's, this is the gist of the code. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.